Hello everyone, this is me Aryan and today's video as I said that uh, now I'm free and I also said in one of my videos that I'm going to explore Raspberry Pi 3B plus model as well. I'm going to upload some videos about it, how we can run or write the SD card because many people have confusion in this topic. Due to which in many times they go in crashing Raspberry Pi, getting wrong operating system for a Raspberry Pi, not meeting the requirements of the user and whatnot. There are many problems for a person. So this uh, video we are going to explore Raspberry Pi 3B plus board and how to write SD card related to it. Like for now I have taken a 64 GB Toshiba SD card. You may take uh, like 30, 16 GB is the most common and mostly suggested because it provides ample amount of storage along with the storage for the operating system as well because the most common operating system is our Raspbian so and it's just about 0 0.9 GB or just 1.2 GB and that's pretty less uh, like compared to Android like current Android 12 according to me it is about 20 uh, 15 to 20 GB and that's pretty large than just 1.2 GB of data isn't it friends that is what I'm telling so let's quickly explore all our Raspberry Pi how to write the SD card which is currently inserted right here this is the SD card I'm keeping Raspberry Pi back there so that everything is visible and this is the SD card 64 GB Toshiba SD card and we would also see how we can write the SD card as well so let's quickly download the imager as well like currently I have already installed it but I don't wish to use it directly so I will first of all uninstall it actually I'm feeling that I'm full that I'm uninstalling it uh, quick 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 yes uninstall finish quick close okay so let's go step by step i'm using my favorite web browser which is microsoft edge which is really a very wonderful web browser or all of your friends it's really brilliant has great capabilities as well like i will quickly connect to my network and it's connected good to go okay just one minute friends it's loading yes okay done so let's quickly download the Raspberry Pi Imager. Like if you go in many videos, actually the more you wander, more you are lost. Uh, like you have actually lost. But as saying suggests, wanderers, all wanderers are not lost. And that's exactly true, friends. Because I too wandered and I found the correct one. And I would make sure that you also find the correct Imager for your Raspberry Pi board so that you get the best operating system for your Raspberry Pi. So it's going to be really very great, friends. So first of all, what we are going to do is that what possible images you might have seen in the net are flash drive, SD, this is one of them and then Raspbian is definitely one of them as soon as you buy a Raspberry Pi, oh wow, on the box itself it is written that Raspbian is an official and recommended Raspberry Pi imager. So that too is one of the things which you have heard, but which one is actually correct? Like you may use any one, but the difference is that which is more convenient and which is actually correct. So according to me, convenience always comes first. And in that case, Raspbian wins and there's no match for it. Because as soon as you download that image, it is actually very easy for you to do all the further things. Because you download the image, you have all the images, like majority of the images preloaded in it and you can simply write the code or customize your SD card to FAT32. Uh, let's let's also see what is 532 not now uh, but we would be seeing and then after uh, customizing there are many options like ubuntu we are having we are having libra elec kodi and raspbian which is definitely going to be there and uh, retro pi as well we are going to have like majority of the things you are having in just one thing which is raspbian so that is one of the grades so according to me Raspbian would be a good choice. So let's quickly download Raspbian, which actually changed to Raspberry Pi OS, or like Raspbian was the old name for it, as you can see. It is actually a very great, cool looking <laughs> image, according to me. 
so let's for now download it for windows quick 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 or oh, quick 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 okay oh yes so you need to give this permission at starting then click on install it would be running all those things completing raspberry pi imager setup click on finish then i didn't choose to run it however it is add okay it ran so this is what we you get you get raspberry pi os like as i said there are great options present here this is other media player emulation so and so so and so so the and so so first of all what we get is the recommended one like first of all let's go full screen because it's great going in full screen let's choose the os according to me this is the recommended one which is 32 bit one of 1.1 gb okay like i accept that i was a bit wrong but as you can see a port of debian bullseye with the raspberry pi desktop and please make sure that you have the word desktop because we are going to make a desktop not a server and then this is the recommended one and what else you may find is this one and you may find raspberry pi os light raspberry pi os full this is actually a great one with all okay all the applications present in it so it becomes way too big and we have explored this then other general purpose operating system which is ubuntu manjaro arm linux upper it is risk os pi like great <laughs> it's simply great and lots of options as you can see which we may run and here ubuntu desktop ubuntu server so only there's only one option which is ubuntu desktop actually i was going to um a flash the sd card with ubuntu but the problem what i found was that this is a raspberry pi 3b plus and i need raspberry pi 4 that to wait 4 gb ram so it was going to it was actually a big like a, mo a moment of fully sorrow like i was filled with sorrow but okay and then you find manjaro arm um, linux but this is i have not heard much about this so i said tata bye bye to this and i went further to find any other thing and then after going so many things i said you this is format card as 532 uh, as you can see here in erase part so let's also see what exactly is 532 well, just a minute fat 32 definition okay fat 32 is actually a file system okay 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 file allocation table and 32 means it is a 32 bit system okay understood so 12 means that 12 bit system 16 means that 16 bit system and 32 means that 32 bit system which is the like not the latest one because the latest one is 64 but it's not available for 64 bit system so file allocation table for 32 bit system is what we are going to customize it for and i didn't want to do so so i chose raspberry pi os which was the recommended version i chose that and in storage what i did was that i had an sd card reader just a minute friends i would be pausing a video for a second and i would be returning actually it's ways to tell this because pause and then unpause there would be nearly no time loss okay friends so i have brought my sd card reader this is eyeball cr24 sd card reader which was the cheapest which i found on amazon.com so like it's very easy to use simply open the cap and then you have your sd card reader with here two slots which support more than 24 types of sd card and uh, yes 24 type of sd cards then in micro sd you have an option to insert the micro sd and it should be like this and once done you may simply connect it to this but actually connecting it to this would be a great problem because you would be seeing right now <sighs> so as you can see there's a problem with this drive scan it fix the bug what happens to the removable disk drive and i don't want to do so okay so then you get option of storage you can select this and then write and as you can see actually i'm sorry friends but i had already selected this drive and done whatever i wanted like actually i had 
already written this in the card so it is showing as boot and slash colon edge but you may select the storage like for just for now okay just for now i chose this and then i can write right choose on right then it takes approximately like it depends on your performance of your computer like i'm using hp pavilion c3605 a tu laptop which provides great performance and here i have four options currently it is on charging so three options you may just choose best performance and it would be like soaring high in the sky with great performance like the performance would be really great okay like just now i would go to best performance the performance the cpu speed the ram utilization would surely increase and that too it would the write speed would definitely increase small like small percentage but surely it would increase and then what we find here is that uh you may write it and for me it was according to me 7 to 10 minutes it took according to me it took 7 to 10 minutes and after your writing is complete you may have your sd card you may eject your sd card reader take your sd card reader take out the sd card mount it on the raspberry pi 3b plus board and then you are good to go actually good to go and actually it's wonderful so it's really great friends so we are actually now we are we would be mounting it to raspberry pi 3b plus 4 but before that let's actually take a quick review of this raspberry pi 3b plus board and also see some images regarding this it looks quite great beautiful friends so let's see let's see an image of this on net okay so this is okay so actually here i am getting like in the buying options but i don't want to buy i just want to see. okay um i think this is it or i don't think so please <laughs> okay let's open this and this is our Raspberry Pi 3 model B plus board which is the same which we have currently as you can see. This is equipped with your new increased performance Broadcom A53. Like just me, let me explain all the parts to you. First of all, this one is a wireless LAN of Bluetooth 4.2 and Wi-Fi which supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well which provides you very good speed as well like up to nearly 600 mb per second is the maximum speed which this supports this might be wrong this is just the testing what i did and according to that it was so this thing which looks like a raspberry pi here is just the wireless connectivity part of the whole raspberry pi board this is your ethernet line if you wish to use it only fools use this okay so intelligent people would use the wireless one by using your wi-fi because that's great and then after this you have your such a big square of metal with a heat spreader on it actually if you see a cpu is really very small and tiny okay no one would believe this but yes even if you open the cpu in this laptop as well it would be really very tiny and actually when you even open that in that you would be having much tiny part and the metal part as you can see here this is just the heat spreader uh, you may even google it and find more information about it as well it is just the heat spreader and it's only a small part of it you may consider it as one fifth or one fourth of it is the cpu which is present inside this and then this is the heat spreader and this is actually inside this is the cpu which is a53 cortex arm v8 v8 like there are the previous one was arm v6 and before that it was arm v2 so v8 is the latest one arm v8 uh, broadcom um, board which is good which, pro which provides 1.4 gigahertz of speed which is decent amount of speed according to raspberry pi boards and 64 bit quad core processor so quad core 
was not expected but yes that is pretty good like this laptop i bought it for more than 60000 nearly 70 80000 and i am getting quad core for this and this computer okay this just tiny part of pcb is costing nearly 3700 4000 and that's giving me like you won't believe see a quad core processor that with that to which support 64 bit of operating system and like that is making me laugh it's amazing friends and then after this as we discussed this this and here here and here as you can see this is ddr2 type sd ram of 1 gigabyte distributed part okay not one man army type because the more it is distributed the more better performance it can give and this is the sd card slot with a small hole you can see here is actually a part of raspberry pi board which is actually like a switch uh, like i can't show you properly but okay let i would try to please please adjust it focus focus my camera please okay it is giving me some focus issues okay no problem here also it is not that bad and here we have a small hole it is actually a switch which sees whether the sd card is in inserted or not or sh and should the raspberry pi board boot or not so that is what it does does the sd card reader part and here we have four usb 2.0 slots if you want usb 3.0 slots you can do nothing but you may buy uh, raspberry pi 4 series boards because they have two usb 3.0 ports and two usb 2.0 ports or like currently this is having all four usb 2.0 ports and one ethernet lan with decent performance as well and this one here the black color is audio and video input that means that it can be connected to a mic or microphone or a camera and one more option what we have here is for a camera which is actually a way to basic and old type but i will show you that as well like okay it has auto focus great my camera is rocking and then you have to just pull it out and then you may just slide it open and here you have some part of it for inserting your camera slit and closing it so that it is locked and you are ensure that it is great you are good to go and this is for a camera slot this is for a touch screen display or a, di a display which you want to connect directly and this one is a hdmi port which you might be familiar with because if you are watching this on a laptop you might be have seen the hdmi port present on the right side and you might you have even seen it on your monitors or your tvs as well and this one is your powering type which is of usb type i don't know no problem uh, everyone forgets some of the other thing let it be and then here you have another thing for display as i told so this is what all about raspberry pi 3b plus board like quite great quite good performance according to me and it gives okay like i'm going also going to like as just now i showed you how to write the raspbian 3 bleep like just a minute fan the raspbian pi os 32 bit version to our storage which is currently not inserted but to this sd card i showed you how to do that then you go to just insert it in this way like this manner push it it's inserted okay but i'm not going to insert it directly because i'm having a good quite good decent case here with me and we are also going to compare is this good or is the latest case for raspberry 3b plus is good so let's also quickly google or actually edge it about the raspberry pi raspberry pi 3b plus official case okay done so as you can see the first one actually indicates official raspberry pi case and yes actually this represents it better let's see that one okay actually any thing would be better but if you see what happens is that this one is the upper part which you're going to attach on the raspberry pi's top 
and this is the bottom part and this is which is going to be attached on the side but the difference between all those things is that this is better as you can see this is closed from the top which leads to less ventilation of air on raspberry pi board due to which the cpu hit if i even if you apply good thermal paste not thermal paste but thermal tape and good heat sinks and cooling fans still it won't provide you that much of good cooling and cooling and the performance would be re reduced over time like i have used it this is why i'm telling you which is better which is not however this is open so if you apply a uh, good thermal tape and so on it would provide you much better performance because the ventilation first of all it is open so it would be taking cold air pumping not pumping it but pushing it to the core cooling it and good wonderful so it's going to be really very great and we are going to attach it to the board so let's quickly attach it so this is my raspberry pi 3b plus board and this is our case bottom part and just keep it like this and then take the upper cover like this is free with the, the raspberry pi board and now actually i myself forgot for a moment of time and then attach it here okay what's okay attach it here and then you have this part which is needed to be attached on the right hand side which is right here and now it's good to go your raspberry pi 3b plus board is good to go good to go shine in the sky <laughs> roar <sighs> wonderful and actually i have kept the gpi opens open because i'm also going to buy a cooling fan for it and cool it due to by which my raspberry pi for oh, raspberry pi's performance would be much greater but i'm going to make a video soon like it is actually late because i said that but today which is second of december i would be uploading the video but i'm sorry i would be uploading the video on third of january i'm really sorry my friends and my subscribers as well I'm really sorry, but this is really great. Okay, I explained you everything, every part of it. So in the next video, we are going to power on everything. We are going to power on the Raspberry Pi board. We are going to connect it to my display. This is going to be really very great surprise. We are going to attach it to my one of my keyboard and my mouse, which I had recently brought. And we are going to start. Like it's going to be really very awesome to switch on the Raspberry Pi board, see everything booting. Like it is going to be. Uh, our whole process like whole time investment would be giving us some fruits we are going to have good output as well so like that's it for this part like I would be continuing it but it is after a pause so thank you for till this part this is our next part of my video and as I told I had to pause it because of some reason so here I have connected the HDMI cable to my TV and this is the power cable which is also connected to my TV as you can see the cables going <coughs> right there and then we, here we have two of our cables one of them which is this one is connected to our mouse and this one so the second one is connected to our keyboard and as you can see still two slots are empty not empty but vacant actually that is a very good thing because it is somewhat like our laptop in which we have two of the slots as empty wonderful thing so let's also see our this is our mouse which i'm going to use which is a uh, microsoft basic optical mouse and hp uh, w100 mechanical keyboard which i had just recently brought for our hero which is raspberry pi 3b plus and this is my display which I'm connected it to which is great wonderful Samsung TV Tata Skizindabad so it's great I have connected it properly and we are set to go now I the only thing what I need to do because the booting process is automatic as I told you we have inserted the SD card everything is done as I had done it in the previous part of the same video and now we just need to switch it on so it's another time for our second pause I would pause it just for a second and then I would be switching on my TV and then we would be seeing our Raspberry Pi B plus board booting. So let's pause. So here I have switched on my TV and just a minute friends. It's good to go. It's on. 
okay so now it is setting uh, setting up booting the booting process has started just a minute friend we would be waiting for some time for the booting process to complete okay so this is how it has started welcome to the raspberry pi desktop oh fast quite fast and that sign over there indicates that there is a low voltage supply and that is actually due to i have not connected it to power proper power supply but just a minute friends it would be booting quickly and then we would be good to go actually wonderful it has booted just a moment to go be quick be quick so i would be pausing the video one more time for some time so just a pause and once it's booted i would be unpausing it and we would be seeing the beautiful okay so it has started our beautiful raspberry pi desktop has begun great so just a moment friend i need to adjust my camera it's a bit heavy to adjust difficult one as well and here it's done as you can see the ui first of all is brilliant friends it's wonderful and there you can see two things right there okay just a minute okay i have decreased the brightness and as you can see first the first thing what i noticed in a raspberry pi desktop is that the ui is fabulous friends and as you can see right here i am moving my cursor as you can see here is our uh, like just for as our start button we are here we are having our raspberry pi button click here to open application menu i hope that is visible upon right side we are having the uh, internet or web browser we can say it as and besides that here on the third side we are having file explorer uh, for raspberry pi not that of windows and here we have having a brilliant terminal it's actually much good looking and beautiful to see and use than normal windows terminal in our laptops or windows devices so it's actually great friends i love this and on the right hand side of the screen we can see a bluetooth sign wi-fi sign a speaker sign and the time the digital clock on the top right part of my screen where we can see our connections to how, where is my device connected turn off bluetooth make discoverable add device remove device tv samsung q60 which are connected currently for uh, audio purposes and then i can simply bluetooth settings add remove panel items and many things are there for now i would turn off bluetooth and here we have our wi-fi settings which is connected to wi-fi this is volume control this is time and i loved it like for a pro programmer this is brilliant friends with good ram like 1 gb is pretty decent ram for our raspberry pi b plus board and it is enough and raspberry pi b plus if you notice it is simply wonderful friend and now i would be moving the mouse and you would observe literally no lags and that's only because this is great like the performance is great the cpu is pretty good that is way and i would also show you the task manager of raspberry pi so this is all the running let's open as you can see the first thing which i loved is when you open this and when you compare this with windows 10 you feel if, as if you have returned back to your windows 7 and there you are getting all those classification of options and all those things so the first option what we get is programming because raspberry pi and all those boards or those computers are basically based on programming so first of all you get two basic things you can download infinitive if your storage allows to like i have 64 gb which is awesome like it in fact it is insane because normally you need just 16 and compared to that this is four times like wonderful friends and then we have office actually that is not pre-installed but i have downloaded it i will also be teaching commands for downloading as well some basic commands and for internet we have pre-installed chromium web browser from raspberry pi sound and video we have vlc media player graphics image viewer accessories so th this is what i wanted to show the task manager and let's do it full screen and just see like 
this is more informative and in fact <coughs> sorry friends much more informative and better than our old thing what that was what did i say yes windows 10 like you can see your cpu usage your memory which is just 117 mb like friends this is pretty like not pretty but in fact way too high low like if you compare with your any device even with your basic smartphone the memory used would be minimum of 1 gb and here the memory used is 117 mb and that too without any lag quick opening of your every each and everything and here you can see each and everything cpu percentage use rss vm size pid state like it is running or stopped you can change that as well stop continue term kill priority etc etc and like it's brilliant friends i loved it and then you can raise restore restore may it make it short oh and it's brilliant friends i loved it and then we come to our other things let's also open our browser as well friend okay internet chromium web browser just a minute friends it would be opening till that i would show you some other things such as just a minute friends we would be also opening our yes i wanted to show you the terminal as well because those two things are really great like in fact very great and this is our terminal we would do this as full screen as well because it feels great and if you see this and if you have actually seen your just a minute friends okay done if you have seen this terminal part like let i would first of all restore it and now i would be opening okay restore i don't know what the problem is but if you have seen this terminal we have not okay just a minute friend i would once again open the terminal as it has opened i would take it to this side keep it here if you have seen this terminal this exactly looks like our uh what do we say it our git bash have you heard about it like even in cryptocurrencies this is really very important like i am a fan of cryptocurrency so it's really great it looks like git bash and that was the most favorite thing for me and then here uh, in new tab of chromium it is great now would be search new tab chromium now for now we would be going to youtube for seeing my channel youtube.com oh what happened okay i don't know some unhony thing has happened so our chromium has again opened and here we have our command prompt okay restore like it's very good i loved it and then for now i would be closing command prompt because we currently don't need it we would be or uh, switching open youtube and if you like the ui friends just like the video as the ui really deserves a sing one like at least let's quickly open okay i am not understanding what the error is but it's not opening anything let's try once again going to chromium restore so it has restored literally nothing so okay let it be we will be going to some web page let it be crypto currency let's search for it and let's go and the browser which we are currently using is powered by duck duck go dot com like <laughs> it's a bit comedy type but it's okay and here we have search and we got our results right here and it's good privacy is good of this browser okay it was okay fine for me and here we have all our things cryptocurrency of wikipedia let's open it and see what it is in and it's great simply great friends and let's also open a terminal at one side we would be doing some amazing things as well friends and for now okay so it's opening wikipedia and as you can see friends there is like one can't say that there is no lag 
but that is because <laughs> as i told you i have no applied no fan but after a fan is applied this would be perfect friend the computer would be powerful good enough good for programming as well so here we have our terminal so tata bye bye terminal and we can also re read about cryptocurrency like we can search anything and that is what i exactly i wanted to show you let's close it for some time and say tata bye bye to chromium g and open our terminal which is called as pi at raspberry pi so some like the most basic thing what you can see here about raspberry pi is that just one minute friends okay it's going way too much bright friends okay like let's minimize this restore okay i said restore okay so i think it has restored i need to close this window open it again okay yes it has opened so now we have our raspberry pi email and that's wonderful friends as you can see so you would be putting some commands and seeing how it exactly works like and how brilliant it is and let's put some commands so when we say about raspberry pi the only and the first thing what we notice here is that we need to use sudo which is this okay i wrote auto because i like audi but that's different thing we need to use sudo so let's type sudo and enter so these are the some of the things what we get here friends as you can see like sudo and uh, sudo hyphen h sudo hyphen big uh, uppercase k lowercase k so on so on there are many commands what you can type but if at all you want to install something you can write sudo apt install and the app name for example let's download git press enter reading packages list done done building dependency tree like this is why i actually love this friends because like this is wonderful friends you get everything now where is git that is what we need to find okay where is it in accessories no and this is no preferences no within where is git I think that we need to use get from here. Get. Okay, yes, we got get here. As you can see, friends, we have installed get for now. You can install any app. So, like, let's open our Chromium browser for it and see some of the apps what we can install. For example, here I have installed this Office, which is Liver Office. Let's also see how to install that as well because many people love that. So let's see sudo apt so apt it is app wow install and libreoffice so it's great friend this is what we need to write it is actually very easy friends you can just go to chromium and see how to install but for now let's download raspbian on our <laughs> raspberry pi raspbian it is installing it and it is installed okay just a minute office internet or video okay okay so we have many things here and preferences yes we have got raspberry pi recommended software and all those things this is how you can install anything friends literally anything using the, those commands but mostly the keyword would be sudo so you need to remember this keyword and you can even check on the internet to download my thing for example sudo apt install like this is just a try friends i'm trying visual studio code let's try oh wow it is actually installing it okay unable to locate packet so i don't know why it is giving me such a error but it's okay so at least I would tell you how to install this LibreOffice because it is really very important for a starter. Because whenever you are using a desktop, the mostly used thing what you use is like on your Windows laptop. Let's see Microsoft Office. So it has its own office system when you get Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and whatnot. So 
And Raspberry Pi has also its own something powerful office kind of structure which you need to install, which is not pre-installed, which is Office, named as as you can see LibreOffice. So let's type that here. Sudo apt install liver office. Actually, it is pre installed, so I don't want to do anything. But let's do and see what happens. So, reading my so liver office is already to the newest version. Can you see this, friends? Or just highlight it here. So, that is what I want to tell that I have already installed it. But if at all you want to install, you can install this, and there are many options what you can do. So I hope you loved my video friends, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like my video and also share in the comments below that how you felt about the beautiful Raspberry Pi OS it is the recommended software for your Raspberry Pi board. Uh, please share it with me. Thank you.